Hello students. So let's try to solve one problem from CSIR NET 2021. And this problem is from quantum mechanics. Mainly the topic uh, uh, time dependent perturbation. And that is basically the co main concept is all about transition probability. So let me explain this particular problem. So there is a state zero and a state one and the corresponding energy is E naught. And for state one, the corresponding energy is E naught plus alpha H. So don't be confused that phi naught is equal to E naught. This is just a representation, okay? And there is some potential is going to put to act on this particular system. And this will be only function of a space part, not a function of time part. And what we have to do, we have to calculate the transition probability such that particle will try take transition from zero state to one state. And it is also given that transition matrix is H cut alpha by 10. And we have to calculate this particular thing for very small time. That means T is less less than one upon alpha. So if uh, we will we just try to solve this problem with first principle, then uh, we have to just use the formula V I F. That means we are taking transition from I th state to uh, final state F state. And this will be mod of minus I upon H cut integration zero, zero to T. And here is we have pi f v pi i and f t e to the power i omega naught t dt and we have to go for mod square but in this particular problem this f t is one that is this is not a time dependent potential so if it is not a time dependent potential then the formula can be reduced to in a very compact form and this value is equal to pi f v pi i mod square 4 time h cut square omega naught square and here is sin square omega naught t by 2. So this is compact formula and here it is given 0 v 1 and it is symmetric matrix so 1 V0 is also same thing. So we have to always keep in mind. So the formula will reduce to. So P I F that will be four time. And this will be zero V one square. And we have H cut square omega naught square and sine square omega naught T by two. Now, the whole thing is that we have to calculate the value of omega naught. So, the omega naught is all about EF minus EI upon H cut. And here we have this value is E0 plus alpha H minus E0 by H cut. So, this value is can be written as E1 minus E0. That is basically E1 minus E0 upon H cut. So this value is equal to alpha. So we can easily calculate now, but we have to also take care of this particular statement. So now we can easily reduce this sine square uh, when we all know for the small, if omega t by two is very small, then sine omega t by two can be written as omega t by two. So this formula is again reduced to four zero v1 mod square h cut square omega naught square and this value is equal to omega square t square by omega naught square t square by 4. So this omega naught omega naught is cancelled and uh, we have to put and this 4 and this 4 is also cancelled and we have to put only this value. So when we will put this value that is h cut square alpha square upon h cut square and this value is by into 100 that will be 10 will be 100 so this value is equal to this h cut square is also cancel so this value is alpha square t square by 100 so this will be the answer so this is straightforward question if you know the concept because there is not any calculation not any a hi-fi integration but every concept is there and uh, obviously, you have to always take care of how this 
this particular uh, this particular formula can be reduced to different form and where you can use that thing so this is a very wonderful problem to understand transition probability between one state to another state if you will impose some potential on a system thank you